Um, my name is Katie Heath. I'm a first year trainee nurse associate um, and I work at St Andrew's House Nursing Home in Barn Oldsworth. I've been in care now for over 20 years and I felt it was a time to start developing my skills further with a better understanding and knowledge um, behind the patients that I care for. Um, I'm learning a better understanding, um, learning more clinical skills and just the understanding behind our patients and what needs they need meeting on a nursing level as well as the carers level as well. I would recommend, highly recommend to do this course if you want to progress and want to learn more and understand more. It is an enjoyable course um, and you do get to learn a lot in that course. I'm Jo Preston. I'm a first year trainee nurse associate and I work at St Andrew's House Nursing Home in Barnoldswick. I've um, met a lot of pe new people from different trusts and other professionals, uh, which has improved my knowledge, my skills, and it's taught me to think in a different way. I'm Sarah Atkinson, I'm a first year TNA and I hold my position at St Andrew's House Nursing Home in Barnoldswick. I wanted to update my clinical skills and be able to provide better care for the people that I care for. Uh, a wider range of clinical skills, better understanding of people and their issues. Um, when we go on placements, we get a wide variety of things that we might not come across in our general day-to-day -day job. I'd recommend it to anybody that wanted to provide better care and to anybody that wanted to update their clinical skills. I've enjoyed it immensely and I believe it makes us a better carer as well. Uh, my name's Carol Snake, I'm a Practice Education Facilitator with Lancashire Care NHS Foundation Trust and part of my role is to support the Trainee Nursing Associate Programme. There are two cohorts of Trainee Nursing Associates with Lancashire Care. There are 11 in the first uh, cohort and there are 30 in the second cohort. Three of those are the Trainee Nursing Associates Sarah, Joe and Katie from St Andrew's House and it is our responsibility to provide some alternative placements for those trainee nursing associates and ensure they get the full breadth of nursing experience that they need to have. Um, the trainees have really grown in confidence um, they've developed their skills and knowledge and I've noticed this when I've been working alongside them. It's also given them exposure to other trusts and they will be getting experiences in acute medicine, in surgery, urgent care, mental health, learning disability and children's nursing um, and this will um, enhance their skills and knowledge greatly. I'm Dr Paul Miller, I'm the founder and clinical director at St Andrew's House Nursing Home in Barnoldswick. Uh, we started this 32 years ago with a specific aim of looking after people who had physical disabilities with multiple complex medical needs and a lot of nursing input. We've been running now for 32 years with a lot of experienced staff. Well, we have had a, a lot of very powerful, well-trained carers for a long time. A lot of them were actually expressing a lot more clinical interest than might have been expected, but due to the nature of the residents that we look after, I suppose it's not to be too surprised. Um, when we heard about this course, we felt that it was very appropriate for some of our people and uh, we interviewed um, three of the strongest, uh, Katie, Sarah and Joe, and uh, we actually put them through some sort of a, a, a test as well and a, a, proper, a proper screening before we put them forward. Uh, but we feel that they would make very good nurses and the trainee and uh, associate nurse course is a very good place for them to start, although actually all three of them are beginning to express the feeling that they will want to go on to do their full RGN training afterwards. Um, additionally, there's uh, another very important reason. At the moment, there's a huge shortage of qualified nurses uh, and uh, it's very, very difficult indeed to get them. Um, so we actually thought this is a great opportunity inside our own home to grow homegrown nurses, people who are very familiar with the sort of work we do and who will in due course be able to start doing the function as a nurse, which will satisfy them and satisfy us. I, I think I really have to say also that uh, without the support of East Lancashire CCG and the University of Central Lancashire, 
uh, these sort of dreams could never have been achieved because we could not have anticipated being able to help the people who want to do these courses in the way in which it's been done. It's absolutely brilliant.